Hi everyone, it's great to be back here at PopTech. I believe in the power of innovation and science since I was a little girl. I believe science and technology could be directed to solve many of the world's challenges, like poverty, sustainability. I wanted to be a scientist to serve mankind. Many people in England and Saudi Arabia, except my family and especially my father, told me I'm going to fail. It took persistence, it took courage and ingenuity, but I made my dreams real. In 2009, I became a social innovation fellow with Poptic, and in 2010, a science fellow. It was a turning point in my life. I'm really glad to be chosen by Poptic because I want to lead scientific innovations. With Poptic Health and its network, I too was born. The Institute for Imagination and Ingenuity to create an ecosystem for entrepreneurship and social innovation for scientists, engineers, and technologists in the Middle East and beyond to fulfill their potential for themselves and for their society. We uh, work on the great inventions and ideas. But great ideas need fuel, capital to flourish. And this experience was invaluable when I was a senior advisor to the former president of Islamic Developed Bank for Science, Technology, and Innovation. Within the bank, I started two funds. Transform Fund with Entrepreneurship Academy and Saving Women's Life from Cancer Fund with IAEA. The target of both funds, 500, uh, US million, uh, 500 million US dollars. They aim to ensure that startups and innovators can have access to steady finance, especially in the developing countries. I helped over, uh, seed over 100 innovative projects. For example, Zor Hussein, who built a um, um, community called Storage using green energy solar power. Farmers on the border between Mozambique and Uganda saved their income over or increased their income over 85%. And you can tell here before and after using the cold storage. No waste, feeding an extra of 300 million people. Farjanaja, who created a low cost, eco friendly, housing models for the refugee camp in Bangladesh to uh, protect, of course, the refugee and especially children against rain, cold, heat, and sun. It's made from the houses from jute materials with photometric tops uh, to generate electricity and only cost $150. Abdullah Ban, who created a digital health network connecting thousands of out of practice female doctors in Pakistan. He brought diagnosis to thousands of women and children in the deprived area of Pakistan, Afghanistan, Yemen, and Iraq. We have seen great examples of innovations, but even with funding, with imagination, with infrastructure, it had a limited reach. It's crucial to recognize Detailed policy is much needed to implement science broadly. I had to involve directly myself in policy. I was lucky to be chosen by the UN to be part of the 10 member groups or expert, making sure STI, science, technology, and innovation delivering results for SDGs and can catalyze science in the right direction. My focus now is science for sustainability in the developing countries. And I have been involved directly with policy, creating new strategies through my affiliation as a goodwill ambassador for STEM at UNESCO, as a former science advisor to Ban Ki-moon and the prime minister of Malaysia, and a former member of the Shura Council in Saudi Arabia, which was challenging. Yes, when I was chosen by the king of the Saudi Arabia to be among the first 31 to be part of the Shura Council, most people, which is like a parliamentary cabinet, most people rejected. They said, I shouldn't be there. It's true, it's not the ideal environment for scientists, but I wanted to have a voice to empower women scientists to steer science for the next generation. 
Through all these real world experiences as a journey of a scientist in a lab, as a social innovator, as an entrepreneur, as an advisor, as an investor, policy and strategy maker, made me to create recently the Institute for Quality, IQ. IQ is a unique type of global consulting firm, is a new generation targeting the most challenging problems, helping profit, uh, private, public, non-profit, and uh, philanthropists to meet sustainability, social, and financial goals. It provides integrated and innovative solutions using holistic policies and powerful execution strategies to address challenges they meet. IQ uh, solutions are based fundamentally on the team's deep knowledge, bringing real-world know-how on science, technology, and innovation to offer clients new opportunity and fresh perspectives. Many of the challenges facing our society today, including the accomplishment of the SDGs, want or the required most disruptive, innovative, uh, driven solutions. Unfortunately, the existing technology transfer models are outdated, dry, and mechanical, ignoring details of how people feel and they don't capture their energy at all. So this cut and paste model, the lazy model will never work. IQs will focus on building both technological and financial goals, uh, tapping or align to people's uh, energy and their needs, and fostering the power of STI global collaboration and seeding partnership from a local perspective. IQ focuses on sectors that we can make maximum impact, for example, STI, health, healthcare, education, evaluation, social Islamic finance, and blue economy and environment. The global consulting market or firm existing today, the global market or you know, consultancy is dominated by major accounting and advisory groups. However, they need to have a broad reach often means they struggle to deliver, especially in areas needing specialist input. So due to their distance, there is an invisible knowledge gap preventing execution. So my vision in this changing world, there is a strong business case for a new consultancy. And I believe IQ will be a leader in that new consultancy because with its uh, significant experience and application of STI locally is built to deliver real solution for community. IQ processes are systematic, objective with purpose, bringing sustainability, accountability, and transparency. And most importantly, is think with people, local people, to make sure policy, project design, project management, and project performance are all optimized. Finally, I want you to say, um, sometimes people demotivate you, indirectly or directly. They can have opinion about everything you've done or you, go, or you do. The way you look, the way you talk, where you come from, and what you want to be in the future. And it's very really easy to fall in and adopt the same way of thinking. So my advice to all women around the world and also men, keep on imagining your next step. Stay positive and keep going strong. I treat my mind like a garden, cultivating the good things and beautiful things. Keep our thoughts healthy because of this greatest minds had positive and beatable energy. Thank you for your attention.